I'm Atubo George, and I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you today. Can we call forth our daily bread? Are you ready, Father? Say this with me. Say, Father, today I receive my daily bread. It's coming to me now. And I add this to you. Say, Lord, I receive every benefit that you have load, loaded me with today. I lift them out in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. It's coming to you now. I believe. Now, every time we pray this prayer, hey, guess what? I'm responding to the word of God. And that's it. What's the word of God? The Lord spoke to me and said, from henceforth. See, he said that to me. So I know each time I do this, I'm responding in faith. So I expect miracles to happen, not just in your life, also in my life, praise God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. So we, we have been talking about the things concerning our salvation. And then yesterday I was sharing with you how the Holy Spirit, when he comes into you, he brings, he, he brings that connection that makes you uh, connected to the vine. So we're reading John chapter 15 yesterday. Jesus said, I am the vine. You are the branches. Now, understand something here. Now, you see the vine and then you see the branches. And then Jesus said, verse 5, I am the vine. You are the branches. He that abide in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. Okay. So, we were living souls and then we got born again the holy spirit came into us now we became new creatures new creatures in christ jesus now why did he say new creatures in christ jesus because the holy spirit is the christ yeah it's <laughs> good so now he comes in us and by his coming in us he connects us to the vine now it is now you to prove that you are connected to the vine by the holy spirit <laughs> By bearing fruit. How do we bear fruit? We don't choose the fruits we bear. Have you seen a tree, a branch, maybe a branch of an orange tree, now decides, look, this year, I don't want to produce orange. I want to produce guava. Have you seen that happen before? <laughs> that would be a mystery. <laughs> Praise God. The branch doesn't determine the kind of fruit it produces. You just find the fruit of the vine in the branch. Now, the moment you notice a particular branch is not producing fruit, then you know something is wrong with that branch, not the vine. Now, of course, if all the branches are not producing fruit at all in its season, then you know something is wrong with the tree. But hey, this vine that we are connected to by the Holy Spirit, it has fruit. And the place you find the fruit is in the branches. Now, what are the fruits? I want you to understand something. A tree is planted. I get this now. A tree is planted. Because if you don't know this, you won't understand the active part of your life as a born-again believer. 
A tree is planted. Now we can all argue about the tree until it starts bearing fruit. You can see the tree and say, no, this looks like orange. No, this looks like guava. No, this looks like this. No. Okay, so let's wait. That's if we don't want to go and do some um, scientific analysis or stuff like that. Let's wait until they step, start bearing fruit. Now they bring forth fruit. Say, oh, this is orange. No, it's not orange. It's tangerine. Okay, we cut it open. Oh, this is orange. Oh, yeah, you're right. This is tangerine. Are you getting what I'm saying? Because of the fruit. Now, you will not see the fruit on any part of the vine except the branches. So, the vine needs the branch to bring forth its fruit to show that the vine is still alive and active. But then when a branch connected to the vine is not bearing fruit, something is definitely wrong. Now, when we got connected to Christ, that is the vine, by the, of course, by the Holy Spirit. And, and now we are the one to produce the kind of fruit. Now, how do we know the kind of fruit we're supposed to produce? Now, you know something about Jesus. When Jesus walked this earth, do you realize that he, he, Jesus, was a branch? Oh, big prophecy spoken about it. Now, if we start going into one after the other in this broadcast, uh, we will not be able to go far. So there are some things I will say that if you're learning in the things of the scriptures, you will begin to connect them. If you are not, then go study them. Don't just listen and say, oh, I've heard. No, go back to study. Go back to dig up these things. So Jesus was called the branch. The branch of what? The vine. But Jesus said here, yeah, I am the vine. So, the prophets called him the branch. And then he comes here and says, I am the vine. Now what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. We see Jesus walk to this earth for three and a half years. And he produced fruit. Now, he became our example of the fruits he produced. Now, what are the fruits that Jesus produced? Now, you want to just say, oh, the miracles he did. No, not necessarily. Those were not necessarily the fruits he produced. But there was something that made those miracles to be happening consistently. It was the kind of fruit he was producing. See? So, the kind of personality... Now, this is where the fruit comes. The kind of personality that Jesus began to manifest when he walked this earth shows a lot that the kind of fruit that he produced as a branch. But then, he steps out of the way and dissolved into being the vine. And then when the Holy Spirit was connected, when the Holy Spirit now connected us to him who was the branch and now is the vine we ought to know that the same kind of fruit we found in him as the branch should be found in us as the branch now if this is not happening now you remember one time jesus wanted to go to the samaria now and the Bible said he set his face to go to Samaria. And then the people were not willing to receive him. And the disciples said, huh, let's call down fire from heaven like Elijah and burn up these people. See, they said, let's call down fire like Elijah. And Jesus responded to them and said, no, you don't. And he said something very powerful. So he says, you don't know what manner of spirit you have. Is it different from the spirit Elijah had? Elijah called down fire and fire came down. He didn't use matches to set up fire. He called, he prayed and fire came down. Uh, he wasn't talking about the, the prophets of Baal. He was talking about those 50 soldiers. If I be a man of God, let fire come down and consume you and your 50. So they just wanted 
to call down fire to consume that whole village that refused to receive Jesus. Who are you? Who, how dare you hear that Jesus is coming to your town and you're like, ah, we, we are not ready. We don't want to hear him. Huh? Who are you? And Jesus said, no, no, no. You don't do that. That's not the kind of fruit we bear. So how did Elijah bear that kind of fruit? That's another day's talk, praise God. That's not what we're going to. So I'm trying to tell you, as God's children, there are fruits we are supposed to bear as connected to the vine. And those fruits will be seen in us. Now, this is where the work of the Spirit comes in. Now, we, look at what Jesus said now. He says, let me read from verse 2. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. So, this tells you, first of all, that a branch can be connected to him, yet doesn't bear fruit. Yeah? Yeah. He says, every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he'll take it away. Sometimes, anyway, we'll go there. Yeah, we'll go, let's, let's follow it step by step. Every branch that beareth fruit, he purged it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now, in verse 3, it says, Now ye are clean. Now, another word for this clean is the same word he used there as purged or pruned. Follow me now. Now, when you prune, see, because you look at a tree now, those of you who've had any sense of agriculture should know. You look at the tree and like, oh, this tree, um, these branches, they are getting clogged. So I need to trim the leaves. I need to prune them so they'll have more space to bear more fruit. So you begin to prune. Now he says, now ye are prune or clean purged through the word which I have spoken unto you. Hold on now. If you read the amplified version of this, if you have it, you can just check it now. He says here that now ye are pruned through the words that I, which I have spoken unto you. And then in bracket, the amplified puts it, the teachings that I have discussed with you. Mm. Now, you are pruned through the words that I have spoken unto you. Okay. Jesus said, if any branch is bearing fruit, my father will prune it. How will my father prune it? He will prune it through speaking his words to Now, it begins to give you an idea of how you know that you are being pruned. And then that's how you know that you are bearing fruit. How? Words and teachings he will discuss with you. He's not saying words and teachings you will read about or you will hear in church. He said that he will discuss with you. So, when you are bearing fruit, how do you know you're bearing fruit? Because we, you know, sometimes you don't, we don't even know what kind of fruits that we are supposed to bear. See, we don't know. But this is exactly how you will know that you are a branch that is bearing fruit because of the words he is going to be discussing with you. Now, that's why he said in verse 4, abide in in me now how do you know you are abiding in him we are connected to him by words i'll tell you this the only evidence of the holy spirit in your life you know sometimes people say well what's the evidence that you have the holy spirit the evidence that you have the holy spirit in your life is by his speaking the evidence of god's presence in any place is by his speaking if god is in a place he will speak 
If God is not in that place, there will be no speaking. I'm telling you the truth. You don't assume God is in a place. You know he's in a place. How, how does God show himself in a place? By his word. He gives his word. If his word is not coming, then he wasn't there. Praise God. <laughs> Whoa, our time is up. <laughs> but get this. Be concerned if you're bearing fruit or not. If you are saved, you are saved to bear fruit. So that should be your concern. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.